Hello and welcome back to Learn Linux TV. Here in the studio today, I have the 2025 Pangolin laptop from System76. I'm going to give it a review in this video and I'm really excited for that because the last time I looked at this model was back in 2023, so I'm very excited to see how it's evolved since then. And evolved it has. The new Pangolin features an all aluminum chassis, an AMD CPU, a 120 hz 2K display, and even a privacy switch. And best of all, it not only respects your choice in operating system, but it also respects your right to repair, making it easy to upgrade or replace parts later on. And I've had this computer for just over a week. I've had some time to test it out. And well, what I'm going to do in this video is give you all the details on the new Pangolin. I'm going to let you know what I love about this machine and also what I don't like so much. And you know what? Let's get into the review right now. To begin, let's take a quick look around the hardware itself. The first thing I noticed about the new Pangolin is how premium the build quality is. I've reviewed a fair number of System76 computers in the past, and I've always found the build quality to be really good. However, the new Pangolin has the best build quality of anything System76 has ever sent me, and it's not even close. In fact, this is the closest that System76 has ever came to matching the build quality of a MacBook. The notebook feels a bit on the heavy side, but it's not too bad. But the reason it feels heavier than some other notebooks is due to the build quality being so solid. And when I took it out of the box, it felt like I was holding a solid piece of metal. And that makes sense. It's an all aluminum body, and although it is a bit on the thin side, it still manages to feel completely solid. The main difference between the Pangolin's build quality and that of a MacBook is that in some areas of the chassis, there's very obvious visible seams on the bottom where the access panel is, whereas MacBooks tend to hide this kind of thing. But that's not a downside. Since System76 respects your right to repair, they didn't even try to hide the screws or the seam where the access panel is. And the coolest part about this is that if you repair it yourself or swap in third-party parts, you are not voiding your warranty. Even the website makes it very clear that the company supports this kind of thing. Anyway, let's take a tour of the hardware. When it comes to ports, the new Pangolin features most of what you'll need. The device features a single USB 3.2 Type-C port, three USB 3.2 Type-A ports, as well as HDMI. In addition to that, there's also a USB 4 port as well, which works with Thunderbolt docks. I tried my Caldigit TS4 Thunderbolt dock and it worked immediately without any headaches. I simply connected my dock and the notebook immediately activated my ultra-wide display, keyboard, network, and audio. And this can sometimes be a challenge with AMD processors, but not with this model. Next, let's talk about the keyboard. The keyboard on this model is very nice. It feels almost exactly like a MacBook keyboard, with the main exception being that the keys in the Pangolin feel a bit more firm than keys on a MacBook. For me, the keyboard has been great, and I've been able to type with no issues at all. It feels very firm and responsive. The keyboard also features two backlight levels for those of you that are night owls. Continuing, the trackpad is pretty good as well. It's not the most amazing trackpad that you'll ever use, but even though it doesn't stand out, it's perfectly fine, and I don't have anything to complain about. Something that is a bit interesting is that in addition to two physical buttons underneath the trackpad, you could completely ignore those buttons and physically press the corners of the trackpad as well. Essentially, this means that you basically have four mouse buttons, two for left click and two for right click. This way, you could use the physical buttons for clicking or choose to ignore them altogether depending on your preference. In regard to the display, it's really nice. The 15-inch display on this model features a 2K resolution of 2560 by 1600 and a refresh rate of 120 hertz. All in all, the display is bright and everything looks very crisp and clean. I would have preferred a 4K OLED display, but then again, the display on this model is really good and it gets the job done. Sorry to interrupt my own video, but I just wanted to let you know that I appreciate each and every single one of you and I love creating Linux related content for you guys. But unfortunately, producing high quality Linux content like this isn't cheap. But if you want to help me make even more content for you guys, then consider supporting Learn Linux TV. And a great way to do that is to check out the official shop for Learn Linux TV, which was just recently updated. Inside the shop, you'll find distro-themed shirts, bags, drinkware, and more. And there's some other surprises there as well. For example, I've just introduced a mouse pad that doubles as a Tmux cheat sheet. How cool is that? So check out the shop at merch.learnlinux.tv, or you can check out the merch shelf right here on YouTube. 
you could get yourself something really cool and support Linux learning at the same time. So it's a win-win. Anyway, thank you guys so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Now, let's get back to the video. Under the hood, the new Pangolin comes equipped with an AMD Ryzen 9 8945HS CPU, which doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, but I'm sure many of you, including yours truly, will appreciate the model featuring an AMD CPU over Intel. For us Linux users, AMD is a much better fit for us. This particular CPU can hit speeds of up to 5.2 GHz and has 8 cores with 16 threads. When it comes to memory, the new Pangolin supports up to 96 GB of DDR5 RAM that clocks in at 5600 MHz. For comparison, the review unit that I received came with 64 gigs of RAM, which is more than enough for me. When it comes to storage, the base model starts with a 500 gigabyte PCIe 4 SSD, which is plenty for general usage. But if you're like me and you edit video as well as run virtual machines, you might want to opt for more storage if you order one for yourself. On the order page, you can also choose a secondary SSD if you'd like, which is a great thing for those of you that plan on dual booting. And yes, dual booting with Windows is supported on this device. When it comes to graphics, the Pangolin features an AMD Radeon 780M, which is pretty decent. When it comes to gaming, you should get fairly good performance. It might not be able to max out the settings of most recent games, but it'll do a pretty good job with quite a few games at low or mid settings. So when it comes to gaming, this notebook isn't going to outperform a dedicated gaming machine, but if you want to play some games on the same machine that you use to get work done, then the Pangolin is perfect for that. Next, let's take a look at the pre-installed Linux distribution. If you're already familiar with System76, and it probably comes as no surprise that the new Pangolin features Pop! OS. You could also order this model with Ubuntu instead, but I highly recommend Pop! OS since it's an improvement over Ubuntu in just about every way. Specifically, this device features Pop! OS 2204 by default, which is based on the previous LTS release of Ubuntu. I've seen some people complain about this, but the truth is there's no downside to sticking with 2204 whatsoever. It's still supported with security updates, and outdated software isn't really an issue because System76 does a great job of keeping things up to date. But even if something in the repositories might be too old by today's standards, you could just use Flatpak to get the latest version of whatever software you want to run. So even though some people may complain about having the older operating system, it's not an actual problem in any way, shape, or form. If you're curious why an outdated Pop! OS release based on Ubuntu 24.04 hasn't been released yet, it is being worked on. The new version will feature a completely redesigned desktop environment, so it needs a bit more time to stabilize before it can become the default. I think this is a very reasonable compromise. Like I said, Pop! OS 2204 still receives regular security updates, so you won't be missing out on anything, and when the new OS comes out, you can simply upgrade. For now, System76 is sticking to a more tried and true operating system that's had more testing. But one of the great things about Pop! OS is how it gives you an experience that feels premium and fits right in on the Pangolin. Sure, you don't have to buy a System76 computer to use Pop! OS, but when you do buy a Linux computer that has an operating system that gives you all the bells and whistles of proprietary platforms, it feels really nice. For example, there's a built-in recovery partition you could use to reinstall the operating system at any time. When a new major version is released, you'll upgrade to it through the Settings app the same as you would on a Mac. My overall opinion when it comes to the 2025 Pangolin laptop is that it's awesome. It has exceptional build quality, and people within my audience are going to love the fact that it's completely powered by AMD. It has a Thunderbolt port that actually works. The build quality just feels really firm throughout. I really love this computer. It has a very bright 2K screen, a keyboard that feels firm, like a MacBook keyboard. It's an exceptional computer, and I highly recommend it. But what did you think of this review or anything else for that matter? Let me know in the comments down below. And in the meantime, I have some awesome videos coming that I can't wait for you guys to see. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you in the next video.